The art of tricking the brain, distorting the senses, challenging perception. You can't trust what you see, even with your own eyes. Meet the Masters of Illusion. Next up is an example of how magicians can use their powers to cheat. I'm serious. Here's Murray Satra. Hey, everybody. How are you? I'm so excited to be here, and I love playing board games. We have a volunteer from the audience. Sir, what is your name? Jeff. Jeff, thanks for being here. You play board games still? I do. It's kind of fun, right? So you and I are going to play a game. You okay with that? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. So it's a three-part game, okay? So first of all, I got a deck of cards, a jumbo deck of cards. I'm going to take these out. And Jeff, I'm going to have you select the card for me, okay? We got all sorts of cards. You know, it's, it's a huge deck of cards. You guys can all see them, all different kinds of cards here. And I'm going to shuffle the cards. You say stop whenever you wish. Sure, you look at it. The idea is for me not to know what the card is, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Oh. Right there? Great. Have a look at the card. Lock it in. It. Make sure you know what it is. You got it? I got it. You're sure? Audience, have a look at that. The idea is for me not to know. That's the idea. That's your job. That's all you got to do. You got it? Got it. You're sure? Yep. All right, very good. Take these. I'll put those away. Next. I have a bunch of hair products. Very excited. Shocking. Why would I have hair products? I wonder why. Um, I got all sorts of things, all right? Oh, I got bows, and I got little curlers, and all sorts of things like that. So, Jeff, I'm gonna have you reach in, grab one of the items. The idea is for me not to see it. Show the audience. We'll drop it back in. We'll put the bag away, okay? So, sir, reach in the bag. Anywhere, reach nice and deep. I'm gonna look away, okay, and close my eyes. I will turn around. Okay, once you got something, I will turn around and show the audience. Audience, have a look at what Jeff's chosen. Have a good life. Memorize the size of it, the shape of it. If there's a color associated, you got that, Jeff? Got it. All right, put it back in the bag. All right, great. And we'll get rid of the bag so I don't even see where that might have gone. All right, so that's two. Now, uh, by your applause, some of you here have ever played tic-tac-toe before. Everybody, of course you have. Uh, it's a fun game because you can play it anywhere with a napkin or a pencil crayon. You played it, right? Yep. All right, you and I are going to play tic-tac-toe, okay? We have a board here. Uh, Danny's brought this out. This is a clear board. It's very important that that is clear, that you can see through that. It's kind of it's our Hannibal Lecter special. Check that thing out. <laughs> Jeff, does that not look like your neighbor looking at you across the way while you're doing your dishes? Yeah. <laughs> you should be so lucky. I know. We're going to put this up here so you guys can actually see through it. And you and I are going to play tic-tac-toe. Uh, we, have, of course, have the X's and the O's. Thank you, ladies. We have the X's right here. Thank you. And we have the O's right here. Thank you so much. And so you and I are going to play. Now, look, Jeff, it's my game, all right? And it's my board, so I'm going to start, okay? And I'm going to be the O's. You're going to be the X's. Cool? Cool. All right, here we go. All right. Here we go. Where do you want to go? Uh, upper right. Right here? Oh, nice choice. Very nice. Uh, here we go, like that. Top middle? Top. Oh, up there. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Let's have a look. I'll go over there. Very good. That's excellent. Bottom corner. Oh, over here? Yep. Oh, still cool here. All right. Perfect. We'll do that there. Uh -huh. A little bit of block. This corner. Oh, there's no fooling you, is there? All right, fair enough, okay. And then, of course, we have that right there. Excellent. Big hand for Jeff, everybody. Thanks for nothing, Jeff. We just live 45 seconds of our lives we can never get back. Right. Um, you know, I find this interesting, though. There's nine squares here. You can see that, obviously, right? Um, but did you guys realize that there is 255,168 different tic-tac-toe patterns with nine squares? Do you know that? No idea. Pretty impressive. Yeah, you can Google it. <laughs> but you're watching us right now, so do not Google it yet. So check this out. This is actually only one of the 255,168, and you made it. How do you feel about that, Jeff? Uh, it's great. Nice. Thank you for the overacting. I appreciate that, Jeff. Well, I don't know if you realize this. This is like a hieroglyph. Like, if you look at you know those things in Egypt against the wall, if you look at this, Jeff, and you look at it properly, this says your card, and this says the the hair item that you chose. What did you choose? What card? Uh, seven of hearts. Seven of hearts. And what was the hair thing? It was like a green bow. A green bow. This says, if you look at it, the seven of hearts and the green bow. Do you guys see it? You don't. So here, squint a little more. No? Nothing? Here, maybe I can help you guys out. Check it out. There you go. The seven hearts and the green bow. There it is, just like that, Jeff. See? You didn't even know you were so smart at Egypt and hieroglyphics, did you? No, I didn't. Thanks, guys.